Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome back to Do It For The Story. I'm Morgan. And I'm Stacy. <laughs> We're figuring Cheers. out how to start us off today. Cheers. Ah! Oops. Billy. <laughs> Billy McSpillers is with us. <laughs> cheers. For those of why we I cheers. Hmm. It was full. Good vibes today. Speaking of vibes, <laughs> uh, a couple of folks have asked about... Got them good we vibrations. This- what are we drinking? In some episodes, we've had Vibations THC electrolyte drinks. Uh, we bought ours at our local dispensary, Thrive in Annapolis. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But these are great little packets. Uh, we're not sponsored by Thrive or Vibations yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they have, some of them have caffeine, some of them don't. Some of them are just the electrolytes. They come in different flavors lemon, lemon lime. They're Sweet great. Tea. As per the website, they're great pre-workout. Okay, so it's Sunday. We're back to our regularly scheduled programming. Yeah, we're just hanging out. Beautiful weather here in Annapolis, Maryland. We've had, um, yesterday I was outside, I think, all day long. No, I was from 12 hours, actually, from 8.30 to 8.30. Started the day with you. With Morgan at a, mm, mm. at a yard sale down at EYC. I say, I really, yeah, at EYC in Annapolis. Yeah. Fantastic little yard sale. Great. I was pumped to go. So I actually, let me tell people how this goes down. One, I did have the event on my calendar because yeah. I saw it oh, in yeah. the Naptown Scoop local newsletter. Oh, yeah. A couple weeks ago. And I'm like, I've got to remember to go to this because last year we cleaned up. I didn't remember it was happening or like day of yeah we just happened to be randomly down. yeah i got some great you got the really cute shirt yeah like i still yeah. jealous of that shirt i know everybody is i get some i should on i it. should borrow it stacy it's one of my go-to i know i could do a spot one, one time one once or twice we'll see <laughs> um <laughs> but yesterday we we got a good loot oh my god i actually I'll you got a good loot angel got a good loot angel got a good loot I mean, okay, so you need, we need to set the scene of this yard sale. Yes. Okay, so Eastport Yacht Club is, as you all know, we live in Annapolis, Maryland, but in Annapolis, Maryland, just like any other city, there are different neighborhoods. And so we are over in Eastport, which, you know, some might say we're on the other side of the bridge. It's just the Water Girl neighborhood. It's a Water Girl neighborhood. It's also, some might say it's a little more chill. You see the hippie vibes over here I, a little bit more. There's it's still people everywhere. Little, little, no, I just mean, there's a... In the general vibe. Historically, we're more chill. Of, yes, of Eastport versus downtown is Eastport. We're the so, Maritime not, Republic of Eastport. We're this actually was, our little own. Exactly. It's our own little, um, I don't even, what do they I need to get that? CSU JD. They get always that. are telling me the whole story of right. what that actually means and right, how. Right, right, right. But anyway, even back, way back, 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 Eastport was the beach summer these were the beach houses and stuff like that, right. the summer vibes. So of the rich folk. Um, and so it's always been that, you know, a little slower, a little different. Yeah, we're just chill over here. Chill over here. And so Eastport Yacht Club. And a little quirky. A little quirky. In a good way. Totally. Um, and Eastport Yacht Club is um, down on the water, beautiful views. And so they have this yard sale every year. Same time. And... So Stace and I, this year, we were like, we're going to be there. We're going to be there first thing. We're Mm going to like be there while they're setting up and like get our eyes on. So we head down and. Well, before that, we thought it started at nine. Well, you know, but Joe told me though, that he was like, it was eight, it's 830. He said it was on the flyer. Somewhere it was eight. Whatever. We had it in our minds. It was at nine. And so I had set my alarm because I was so tired. I was so glad you were up because I was like, do I call her? But you, Yeah. Just to know I was going to run down there and I get, I wake up just before or around eight and I have a voice memo from Morgan and a text that are like, yard sale starts at 830. Need to be bell action. First, it was like the bell's going to go off. They ring a bell <laughs> for it start. Bell. Uh, bell's going to, first bell's at 830. So need to be down there. And then it was a text like, yard sale starting early. And then people started shopping before the bell rang. Mm-hmm. 
So Morgan is get, is down there early, or hears that people are shopping before the bell. No, it was it was be, it was Joe because we're members of the yacht club, oh. and so Joe saw like a flyer or someone said something to him. Good looks, JD. Yeah, and he let me know because I you know, he knows I'm passionate about. It. I had said to <laughs> I had said to him <laughs> yesterday morning or like the night before. No, it was the night before. I go. I don't know. I just have I just have a, a good feeling that I'm going to get like a really good shirt. <laughs> If you're not watching, I literally just looked at Morgan, my jaw dropped, like, oh my God. <laughs> the night before. Well, that's because also, but those that also, know, yeah. she loves a good thrift. We all love a good thrift, but Morgan's very passionate. She's mentioned other episodes about the vintage items. Yeah, actually, give me, give me 30 seconds of courtesy to give an aside of, I have been a thrifter since, like, birth. Yeah, and well, we, we talked about it in the 20s episode. In the 20s episode. So, right, so go back and listen to that. But so, like, I've always loved a thrift. Yeah. And when I moved to DC, I was able to like take it to the next level because, and I had to go into the office. Yada, right. yada. So I still am in that. And when I moved into my apartment, everything, like all of my furniture, everything was totally like thrifted. And so I was just thinking as I was, you know, you mentioning that is making me think of yesterday. I had this or th- this week, because we're as an aside, we'll come back to it, but we're staying on the boat this week. And, um, and so I was thinking how even though I'm basically like car camping, you know, we're staying like at a marina. Right. And so it's a very casual situation, right? And I'm like, even though I'm staying on this boat, I'm still styling myself every day. Like I might, this is not my DC heyday of like, you know, what I'm wearing into the office in my heels, but I yeah. am totally in my cute little, and I know you're looking at me like, of course, but not everybody's like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I mean, I do the same thing when, totally. um, even, like you're saying, it's just like any, even packing a bag. I don't, like, I want to look cute. I always look I cute. have a style. Like, I want to have like a look. Yeah. And it's not even about like, understand, you know, it was really, I related to so much. I was listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast. What is it? Emma Chamberlain knows, I don't know, something like that. But Emma Chamberlain's podcast, and she said something um, like, you know, just, she was talking about making decisions and she was like, she said something about, do I want to look interesting or do I want to look cute? Like, do I, like, you know, she's like, do yeah. I want to wear the tight, you know, dress that makes my, you know, butt and my boobs look great? Or do I want to wear like the quirky oversized? And it was just, fun. I felt so related to it. Cause yes, there's times where I do want to look saucy, whatever, but Same. my typical vibe is I want to look interesting and I like Joe will just literally look at yeah, me he's my, like, I don't know how you put that together and it somehow looks good, but you also look ridiculous at the same time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, Morgan's <laughs> more of a baggier fit menswear. Love menswear. In this era mm-hmm. of your life, menswear. I, I mean, Bright it's different colors. now working from, I tend to always be, I think my vibe has always been a little bit more sporty, casual, tight fitting. Mm-hmm. I always like fit it, not like it just was more comfortable for me. Mm-hmm. I have like a smaller waist and a bigger butt, mm-hmm. like clothes wise. So, so I the, always. The clothes that were available to you were definitely the ones that were more of like they're stretched there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So feeling good. Yeah. I and mean, I you notice now I have on like a tight, like mock neck, I just, but like a wider. I don't like know what it is. I just have always liked the mask, even bringing masculine energy to it's something been that a mask. is. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> not you know? in a bad way. No, I know, but it's true. It's fine. I have high testosterone. You know what's funny? <laughs> exactly. You know what's funny? Um, on the uh, him and her podcast, the Skinny Confidential, um, they were literally talking about this with um, a recent episode of where Whitney, um, what's her name? The comedian. You totally Cummings? know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Whitney Cummings. She was on, and they were talking about you know that masculine energy and how Whitney Cummings and um, uh, what's Lauren from the Skinny Confidential, you know, just being like, you know, having that, like yeah. that leaning type of energy. And it was cute. Michael was saying, you know, basically that that's what he's attracted to, you I know, die. and just uh, like, yeah. Love but it, guys. Okay. Love it. Uh, no, but with the, I had to say with the thrifting. Yeah. Totally. It's like, cause yes, we did it at the yard sale, but, but anyway, the yard sale to the, too yeah, is yard w- sale. what was really cool about the yard sale. But yes, yeah, so set because the scene a yard it. sale, I'm not a yard sale girl by meaning like when I go thrifting antiquing that's not usually my shtick I'm not going out on a Saturday like let's drive around no like hate on those who aren't but that's why I was so excited for this yard sale is because I already it's already curated a bit 
this was at a marina. So you're like, okay, these are boating people, active, whatever. So last year, the gear that I got was specific, you know, it's like boat shirts and stuff. And that's like what you got. You yeah. got like a pretty sick life jacket. Great life jacket. I mean, a $10 really it was nice, like a Mustang. brand new. Is that the brand? Yeah, I, I think it is. They're, they're, they're not cheap. Yes, they're, they're really expensive. Nice it's like brand new. Um, and I got, that's where I got all Angel. the life jackets last year. Yeah, I got kids life jackets. I mean, you got a tube. Yeah. I mean, seriously, everything from like that bike attachment, amazing oh, yeah. thing. I mean, bike rack. the amount of money that I spent, I saved an insane amount of money. I got a yesterday. $20 tube for the boat with the lines. Yeah, those are, that's for typically $25. Like 100, 150 probably full package. Totally. Yeah. So I was like, we cleaned up. We cleaned up. So we did that. We went down to the yard sale. But also at the yard sale, we like shopped around and then it was cute because they had food, mimosas, and like, of course, drinks, coffee. I, and then you yes, ran into I love a bunch of people. how they set it up like that. Like we would. Oh, yeah. And well, yeah, actually, so let me set the tone real quick. So if you're not from, you know, a sailing town or a boating town, so it's this is just a local yacht club that, yes, you're a member of, but also they do like community things. Or, of course, like they're going to invite whoever to, um, you know, the, the yard sale. So you really are like, people are doing like Stacy and I are doing loops around this freaking. Yeah. Cause people are coming in. People are coming in doing continuous and loops and you're talking, you're seeing all these people, you know, right. I mean, it is like social hour to a T and yeah. all these, like, you know, I just ADHD on the high tilt yeah. people running around. It was just, but it was I love it too because then I show up and then angels there and he's got his loot, which was oh. like little kid chairs, and he had a bunch of stuff. Oh, absolutely! And he didn't want to get out of or move from whatever he was doing. He's never been. And so I said, still. "There's more stuff to get. Let's. Um, Auntie's gonna get, buy you something." Yeah. And then he okay. The best was you weren't standing there. He asked me to get him a blender that was made in like 1989. He was like, "What about this? Why would?" What did he think he was going to use it for? I think cooking. I mean, he knows we have a blender. I said that. Did I he said, want, I know he your mom has own? one, probably. I probably mean, he was, he was playing with it. You know, he wanted me to get um, cross-country skis. Well, I I didn't know there were cross-country skis there. They were old. I wouldn't have used them, though. No. Those are hard. Those are, you need to just, but we, were, we don't live yeah, in Yeah, but we were chilling, and then, like, they had breakfast and whatever, and then you ran into people that you... Oh, yeah, we ran into all these people. Um, and we're we're also staying at a marina this week, so we're, like, down at that end of town, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but so we're staying at a marina because we're airbnb our house this week. So we went from... So when you left, we had, like, no reason to leave EYC, you know, because it's, like, this club that, like, they have a... Um, play playground yeah, on and like yeah. there's tons of food and there's just like people are hanging out it's yeah. like a community space yeah. you know so we have no reason to leave and so yeah. angel's there with this other these other kids having a blast and i recognize one of the moms and yada 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 we were like connected through we're on like a text chain together for a mom's group of like some local, some of us that live in like the same few block radius. Love that. We're like starting to hang out because we're like, we all know each other, but like, let's just like make time. Anyway, yada, yada, had a blast That's awesome. with these women. And just like, you know, it was just, it felt like it really did feel like hanging out with like friends that I'm used to hang out with, like, from home and, like, different other yeah. stages of life. Like, a, Well, I think that's the difference, different... too, because it is, like, even when you when you moved to Annapolis, you were already working remote. Yeah. I'm working A lot of people do work remote. It's harder to, like, find out yes. who's there. And that's literally what unless happened. Unless you're a lot of... in a thing. And, like, when you move here and you're in a relationship or you're married, yeah. like we were. Yeah. I'm not worried about like the social sport. And we had like our own little family. We had like right. war here. Obviously exactly. you have your in-law, like right. many, you know, sister-in-laws, brother-in-laws, whatever right. living here. And then like, we, like we had our little, our little group. Right. But it's always nice, to but add it's in. nice to add in to our Just point like and we go saying, back and listen to last week's last episode. Week. Um, Finding because friends, it is yeah. always nice to add in new friends because just here in Annapolis, I don't have many 
like mom friends, yeah. you know, and like mom friends that are, have kids that are my like exact your age. age and my age. age. Yeah. And like, and also I just, I think because I always have had an older sister and then I've always been used to hanging out and younger sisters. I've always been great at hanging out with ages much older than me and much younger than me. Mm-hmm. Like that's just very right easy. Right. And I just have not had any moms that were my age or older than me around here. Yeah. And it was like generation. Cause you do, you kind of skip over to the, like, you have a lot of, you have a lot of friends who are mothers with children your age. Yeah. (laughs) Like literally your age, you know, like grown kids, like their grandparents. That are in this area. Right. Which you can learn so much from, but it's different when you're like, we're going through this. Yeah. We're going through the exact same thing. And like our kids can hang out while you and I are hanging out kind Mm -hmm. of thing. And, um, proximity, so, proximity, exactly. And so it, the only time I was really getting that is when I'm back home with my friends from back home, or if I'm like in New York, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like not around it's here not to say that you don't, you do have friends here who are moms with kids that age, but when it is that like also open. More of a network. More of a network, because exactly. Just, just like we talked about in the like other episode, everybody, if you had three friends who are moms with kids of the same ages, that means you're dealing with three people with however many different schedules in that household. Right. So like casting a wider casting net. Casting a wider net. And finding like-minded folks. So when it's a friend of yours, not just you showing up rogue to like a random mom's workout class. Right. Like it's different. You already know there's been some vetting and connections. Right, right, exactly. And yeah. so that's what it, I think everyone's been excited about. We all we all have known each other or knew someone else that they're connected to. You Love know what that. I mean? Yeah. So it was very much exactly like you're saying. Like It's like it was bringing just, a single, it's like when they had those parties of, for like, not that I ever went to one, so, uh, but bring a single friend that's cool for other people yes. to hook up with. You know it what literally I mean? is like the like same. It literally is like the same thing yeah. with this new mom's like that. text chain. It's not like a, we're not tar- it's not like a Facebook group. Like these are people that were like, yeah. we're, we know each other. And you don't have you to do I mean? that like, out we're of. Not, <sighs> no, we're not starting like an Instagram thing. No one's trying to make like a brand here. We're just or, women in the same community hanging out. Exactly. And you're all coming in kind of at that same I don't know, foundation of the friendship level yes. where then like with some, this is again from what I've heard from mm-hmm. different friends of mine who are in different areas that they didn't like you know, right, live right, in for right. a long time. And like, I know one of my girlfriends, there's like a WhatsApp group that she's on and she's like, which is great. I'm appreciative of it. But that's like the first interaction. Yeah. Kind of. She's like, it, it was this digital thing where you're still yeah. like almost doing I'm this. Like, oh, like, I'm doing like a app, hinge like, or whatever exactly. that. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm she like, said. I don't feel like doing that. She's like, it's almost like, again, then I don't know when they show up where this is like, just to be invited in. That's right. awesome. I yeah. love that. I love that you made those connections. Like we said, takes a village. And then the nice thing was kind of to your point of, you know, it being vetted was then we realized Again, because there were already overlapping connections, but then you realize too that even those overlapping connections of how like this group of women's text chains started had nothing to do with then the fact that like all of us overlap in different ways. And we found out that like we all know this same one person and like it just, I don't know, just yeah. interesting energy attracts energy. It would, yeah, exactly. I was going to say it will be too complicated to follow yeah, the no, connections. And then I don't need to do that. But Morgan I'm just saying explained like, it yeah. to me this morning and I, that was literally my response was that's energy attracting energy. That is so weird yeah. that you all are connected to this person who is like, my vibe such like, an energy, energy like such good, a welcoming, human, welcoming. person mm-hmm. that it, it was just strange but so that's why it was and it made it it made me feel good because i was already having a great time and then when i heard that i was like oh no shit Another no wonder vet. we all yeah no one now you're like, like y'all. i'm in yeah i'm fully it was in. fun so you know anyway i'm so right i'm right on that social hopefully high the next still. mom happy hour you can be there yeah i know because joe had to work um 
I know. It was like the one time I actually was not here on a Friday. I know. I know. (laughs) Um, And anyway, so it was totally fine. But um, but they had a great time. But it was just cute. That was why I recognized them. But then so it was great that you, even though you missed the happy hour, that they had the day before you. Yeah. And they literally, just to show how much, like, I didn't, I had kind of met them before, but, like, wasn't, you know, 100% on, we've over, I've overlapped with these people before. The way that, again, like, back to our previous episode of, like, we all have introvert, extrovert. I had to step out of my comfort zone and admit that, like, I think I recognize you from a photo from this text chain. Is this you? And, like, right. even though you I thought maybe I would met her before. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it wasn't in that moment. I wasn't necessarily like I really want to be a little awkward right now. But, like, I knew if I did. And she said yes. And we ended up having the best day. Yeah. We spent That's four awesome. hours together. So That's awesome. Yeah. Love it. And that's what was because you guys, so you, like you were saying, um, so you met the mom friends and then tonight you're, you're on the boat. No, no, we're back. We're back in the house. Um, so yeah, so that was the other, the reason I guess I did mention that we're, um, you went, you know, we're staying on the boat this week. And so we, uh, the reason we're staying on the boat is because we had Airbnb at our house. So our side hustle is we Airbnb whenever we're like out of town or want to do something, you know, right. like a certain weekend, or whatever. And so we had, we were supposed to take a trip and we go like stay with friends. <clears throat> so we hadn't like, we had planned the dates, but we didn't have to do much other planning because we had a guaranteed place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then uh, we realized, oh, shoot, we just airbnb at our house and planned a trip the first week of Angel's school. Flood the comment section. Yeah, I was like, (laughs) just kidding. I was like, I mean, you know, we definitely were like, do we care? It's pre-K, but then we were kind of like, yeah, let's just have it for him, routine routine and all the things. So, you know, it'll be fun. Let's just stay on the boat. We'll get a marina slip and we'll just like stay on the boat. So, um. So yeah, we had a time. Like it was, we it. had so 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 much fun. Honestly, like it, it, I just we were outside just constantly. It was great I mean, we're outside weather. people already, but it when was you're, really like September this week. Yeah, it was perfect weather. And when you're outside people already, meaning like we do like to like, oh, it's a Wednesday night. Like let's go down, take the boat out. Or do just, a little fishing. Even without the fishing stuff, let's just go outside. Right, be outside. Go outside, be outside, walk, but it still is more complicated when you're leaving the house to get down to, you know, the boat or the yeah, water the or process. a little bit more time when you're like wrapping up your work day and stuff. And it was just f- living on the boat was, we were just in it constantly, yeah. which was super fun. So Angel was entertained. So Angel was highly entertained. He's crabbing and fishing. And um, I mean, we were doing all the things and then just like and look, gazing at the stars yeah, at night. And it's because, and that's the thing too. We say this, it's like a sailboat is very different than a power boat. We'll get into that later. Yeah, but yeah. Morgan's sailboat is basically like it's a, a camper. camper. It's a camper. Yeah. On the water. Like, and even I, like Joe and I just actually did our first overnight in water girl. Yeah. The other day. And we went to, um, we went to St. Mike's. Love that. <laughs> we went to St. Michael's. You know you're local when you say St. Mike's. I just love saying St. Mike's. And I was laughing with Joe saying, like, you know, the last time, kind of two things how that tied in. Last time I had been to St. Michael's via the water was when I was with you and JD and Mimi and then a couple of the other friends on Mary Lou. We did a sailboat race. We did the Miles River race. I'm This is dead. like... 2017 and we also and i say that too just to give the there were eight adults that all stayed on this sailboat so when you're like she had her kid on a boat for a week like i mean it's it's like okay yeah i mean it's not no no no, you're right i I can explain it perfectly it's it's literally okay so you know google sailboat if you don't know what like the standard like j30 you know image it's j30 (laughs) but you um in the front, it's essentially like a queen bed that gets goes down to a V, like the point of yeah. the boat. In the middle, each couch is like, you know, a kid could sleep there. There's a little... I slept on Anyway, the yada, yada. There's several... Yeah, there's... Technically, on this boat, you could do one, two, three, four, five, six adults. Okay. Um, And... But so, yes. Yeah, so, we have basically one couch is all of our clothes on it. 
one couch has Stormy on it because our dog was staying oh, with yeah. us too. One couch has Stormy on it. She does great on the boat. Um, and then we have, um, it's basically, it's a refrigerator, but it's a cooler on the boat. It's yeah. not like actually, you know, powered to put ice in it. And then, um, you know, there's like a ton of, not little a ton of compartments, little compartments things, you know, where yeah. you kind of like shove stuff. Yeah. And a toilet. So whatever. like, we're totally, it's just like when you, if anyone has yeah, ever camping. gone camping, camping you know, car camping, yeah. camping camper. and camping in a trailer or a camper, yeah. It's so the exact same thing. But then the, the thing about it too is like, even though on the water, like you guys have your little boat or a little, um, there's like a toilet and sink and stuff. It's, they we were don't staying even, at a marina. Yeah. So, so it we has have a like nice, nice bathroom. Really nice bathroom. It's like, yeah, and, going to like a nice gym. Well, not every marina is like that, obviously, but like. Yeah, but some of them the are. It's yeah. like a nice gym vibe of like a bathroom that you totally wouldn't mind showering in. If anything, you're like, right. oh, this is really nice. Right. They I clean just it had to give, every, I had to yes. give detail because No, like, we're not, we're not like using, there's no shower on the boat. We don't have a boat no. like that. There's no, we don't want to use the toilet no. on there. We're sleeping next to, like there's a curtain next to where the toilet is. <laughs> yeah, you don't like, want to go to the bathroom. Well, yeah, there's like a little door. You're, you're, no, you're the door, area? the door is blocks. The door, oh, it, the right. door, then the toilet, then the sleeping area. So the toilet and the the sleeping area are in the same area. There's right. literally a curtain. That's right. So you no, we so we go and use the line of bathroom and all that. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. So no, but that, yeah. yeah, but anyway, I say the adding of like how the accommodations are for curious yes. curious minds. But yeah, the last time I was dying that we did the overnight, it was awesome. We had an amazing time because same thing, you can rent a slip down there. We actually didn't get to end up going the one night we had bad weather. Um, but you rent it, but we still went to that marina to like hang out and, nice. you know. Oh, wait, which marina did you, the um, same one that we stayed at down there? No, because that one was a little further out of town. That was actually like Miles River. I should have even we told you. We stayed like right downtown in nice. St. Michael's. I was going to say, because there's... um. I think they're Maritime Museum. They do, but you have to be a member of their Maritime Museum to do use the slips there. But we didn't oh. like this other no, one. Yeah. It had like little, it had like amenities. And then they also had like bikes. You could They've got great. That's use. what I always love down there. That yeah. they have the bikes with bikes. the marina. So and right when, next to it, if you wanted to run the golf cart, they have golf cart rentals and like, so it was cool. Yeah. So when we say marina, so think of marina, like if you're going, can't like, to a campsite, you yeah, know, that's at a pool and a there's bar, a pool, like, exactly. Restaurant, Same kind nice of thing showers, like, bathroom. People yeah. rave in the reviews about the bathrooms. Yeah. They were nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, same, same, but, same. But so we chill. We did the St. Michael's thing, bumped around. Um, but I was telling Joe, I was dying when we were getting there because we passed this marina that I had stayed at previously with Morgan and Donahue. And so I have to take us back. Because I think this is also, when we talk about the story and sharing the story of this, this in particular, this trip. So, um, again, like, I'm, yes, yeah, 20, 2018. Which we did. So, to explain, the same boat, it's called, it's yeah. Mary Lou's, the, the same the sailboat. Of the, boat, the same sailboat. That Morgan and Joe have. And I remember, like, this was Memorial Day weekend, 2018. They're like, hey, you know, we're going to do this sailboat race. If, I don't know if you guys are free, I had asked you know, sisters and I. So our sister Mimi and I were like, okay, we're in. I like the day before wasn't feeling well or something. And I was like, I don't, I just want to let you guys know I may bail on the trip. I don't know if it'll be. And there seemed to be, this should have been my first warning. <laughs> there seemed to be, which I wasn't really picking up on at first. I was like confused by it. I was like, well, oh, that's really nice. They really want me to come more of an almost an, Morgan I came out from like, oh, concern. Like, oh, I feel better. Like, just don't even worry about it. Just tell us last minute. I'm like, yeah, it's not a big deal. Like, I don't want to, like, worry about it. So I may come out. I didn't understand there was a need for me. JD kind of then <laughs> was a little more urgency. <laughs> and his, you're not going to come now? Like, what? And I was like, oh, I'm just not sure. So anyway, I then was like, okay, I, I'm feeling better. I go. I had never been on the sailboat with you guys in a race. I had only been with you, like, I don't know, going cruising, to Cantlers or call something. It. They yeah, call it cruising. cruising. Just cruising, cruising and racing. Just throwing up the spinnaker the, and sailing well, down the Severn. So, I mean, you may throw the spinnaker when you're when you're cruising, but we don't well, usually. I'm saying that in a sailing right, term, right. joking. But yeah. so, of course, like, so, I just had to say that because yeah. then we get, get to the boat and... Um, 
like I said, Mimi's in this, no pun intended, Mimi's in the same boat as me. We're like, she also hasn't done the sailing race. We don't know shit about sailing. And we get there and the Donahues have enough gear to outfit a full crew. I'm like, where did y'all get all these jackets and overalls? Like now you see, though, you can acquire this stuff so easily because yeah. somebody stops. Somebody stops. Needing it. And like, I mean, I get, I still get friends handing me this stuff. That I was like, 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 I don't use it I went from showing up to probably in like, I don't know, like sweatpants as my like, because it was chilly. Yeah. To then I have like full suspenders. You need like, it's like, essentially think of it like as you need a windbreaker. Yeah. Because you literally, you know, yeah. you're saying like you need wind so you can get chilly if yeah. you like, you don't want to wear cotton. Like the, that's not the thing. Right. So yeah, we were like outfitting everyone, getting them ready for the, right. for the race. But I guess, yeah, I hadn't really. So <laughs> but I was going to say, but do you remember the, what I had on for for gear for shoes oh well you didn't have on any shoes and I wasn't exactly, thinking of I it in the moment out. yeah they were like oh we're not gonna because you had like flip-flops or something yeah Mara and I had flip-flops and on. I was like I oh, just don't even worry about it because here's the thing and then so you get on the boat <laughs> I was dying laughing at thinking about this this morning <laughs> that you guys get on the boat and JD and one of the other crew who's like you know also like like Donahue, a lot of experience was like, uh, why don't you guys have shoes on? Like, you're going to break it. You're going to break a toe. Yeah. And I'm Stacey's like, like what? what are you talking about? I'm going to break like, a I toe. Thought, like the, I, I truthfully thought I would be sitting on a boat, not doing anything. Just like, if you want, this is also how JD. <laughs> Did you think you were going to kind of be in a bikini, like sunning? No, I just thought like literally like just, yeah, chilling. I thought <laughs> I was going to be chilling. Because JD at other times had been like, you really got to go down there Wednesday nights, go to EYC and like learn how to sail. You can just go sit on someone's boat. <laughs> and every other time I just thought it was like, okay. He was like, seriously, he made it like when I was single and would come down here and stay with you guys. He made it like go, gr like I could bring a bottle of rosé and be drinking. That's a, literally, I'm laughing so hard because he would say that and that, yes, you can just really get on the boat, but what they expect you to do is fucking participate them. They it's don't. help. And let me yeah, tell you it's what. hands. So, so back to the race. Yeah. So first, JD, God love you, because you were safety and it's, we're in race day, so we're we gotta, you know, there's mm -hmm. a list of checks and balances and you gotta do people. them all. And also start times and all this. So it's a little hectic just to get going. Like, yeah. So Stacy's saying start time. So literally when we say this is a sailing race, there it's is a, a regatta. It was a fucking regatta. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what the, I really was like thinking it was your guys like little crew fun. You know, we're doing a race, but I'm like, oh, okay. Like we're in it. No, this is from point A to point B. Point A is Annapolis. Point yeah. B is St. Michael's, which St. Mike's depending upon. <laughs> So even if by powerboat, you just did the drive. So how long did it take minutes. you? 45 minutes. So that means with a, you, they have a fast powerboat, takes 45 minutes to get there. And, and that this means was also sailing wise, weather. Yeah. That, we did it. Yeah. So that means sailing wise, it could be fast. It could be two hours, three hours. It could be seven. Nobody told me that. Because it's, it's racing. You're racing to the wind. You can't turn your motor on. So we Ooh. were out there. How many hours were you on the water in the fucking I sun? I honestly don't. It felt like eight hours. It, it felt was, like a long. It was a long day because we, we didn't get it until it was like sunset. Remember? Yes. And that was like you're saying that would have been May. So I get it. It wouldn't have been sunset at like. It was definitely six or seven hours. I swear. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. And the thing is, the weather that day, too, it wasn't super. It was chilly mm -hmm. in the morning. So we were like layered up. But I remember, because I've been joking, also part of the pitch was, this is when I was single. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to jail again with their dupe and swoop. Mm. Are like, oh my gosh, you know, that was Morgan's angle too. And they're like convincing me. They'll be like hot guys. Like They're typically our hot guys. Yeah, like there's a lot sail. of different sailboats. So then at the end, when we get to this marina where we're staying, you know, there's an after party to that. And so I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. Like, let's make this happen. Well, first of all, just the guys that I see immediately, I'm like, okay, one in particular may or may not have been on our, bo on our boat. <laughs> I'm like, who is this? Yeah. 
Taken. taken. I was like, oh, no, he's fine. Like, she, no, like, his girlfriend. Actually, she was lovely. Yeah. And actually, she's great. yeah, I was like, actually, his girlfriend's going to meet us at the end. Like, she's like working or something. Like, yeah. It no, was she amazing. was with us. Oh, was she on the whole she race? She sailed with us. Yeah. I thought she sailed back. No, she your other down girlfriend. Too? It was, um, oh, that's right. The other girlfriend, she only your sailed other back. Friends. Yeah, yeah. 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 But anyway, so we, and we were sitting and said, well, while we're on our way there, like I said, it was a little bit chilly and Mimi and I don't know what we're in for, but realize the urgency of why we really are needed is because we need like weight. Morgan's, we need weight. So we were literally the tack team mm-hmm. just going. And if, if you don't back know, and forth, like most forth. Pro- probably don't, because I didn't, <laughs> a lot of lines, a lot of ropes on a sailboat. Mm-hmm. So when Morgan says to you about, I did get my foot caught in a line that I'm day sure. and says about having the shoes on, I did for a second. I panicked. Didn't want to tell JD. <laughs> Mimi and I, because it happened, almost happened to her, and we both were just looking at each other like, okay, we're not saying shit. Like, we survived. Oh my but God. I was like, ow. Um, but when we were, you sit, you transfer, you're literally crawling under ropes, crawling to the other side of the boat, and you're doing it when JD, who was the captain, is saying, tacking in three, three two, two, one. one. I'm still like, ter- I'm trembling a little bit. So <laughs> let me give people a quick understanding of the tacking is so you can, you, continue to use the wind you got to you got to kind of go back and forth back and forth follow the wind to push you in the direction you want to go so when you are tacking you're moving the boat into the other direction to again to continue to catch the wind to keep going as fast as you can and so when you are tacking that means the sails are going to come across the boat and a lot of things like you can get smacked in the face. Right, because there's with the beam. This, when Morgan's saying the sails in the beam, think of a metal beam a that's huge going beam. across yeah, the boat. This boat. So you're ducking down. You're and crawling now they're underneath they're crawling it. underneath back and forth. And me, JD, the other crew that we regularly kind of, not even regularly, these people I think were all recruited. This is the beginning yeah. of us. We're back there, like you're. We're cranking on you're these, cranking and on you're these winches, and, and yeah. And I mean, you're it's like bell, a whole. You're, you're banging shore. We're banging. I will shore. say, if you learn how to sail on a J thirty, you can probably sail almost anything because it's it has it's all complicated. It's all by hand. Right. I mean, talk about the difference between a powerboat, like you going down to St. Mike's, versus a sailboat. It is. There is, it, it, it's apples and There's oranges. a lot of bells and whistles. There's a lot and of bells and whistles. for an ADHD girly like me, I'm right. like, ah, I just, I'm ready to lay. So yeah. I did also die because there were Mimi, I'm looking at Mimi and then she's looking at me and I'll just never forget. I'll never forget Mimi's face at one point was just like, fuck this. <laughs> she may have said it to me actually like, Probably. fuck this. And I was like, yeah, let's go under or she, I go like take, we were taking breaks going mm. underneath. Yeah, totally, totally. And then being like, we're on service, yeah, you totally. know, okay. Cause then we at that drink. point we're starting to drink. Cause I will say that too. It is fun in the sense of like, you're not the only time that we would say stay sober. And this is in our, you know, we're in our thirties yeah, and, um, no kids, whatever, doesn't matter. But I'm saying, like, of course, we're going to have fun and be partying oh, yeah, then, while we're doing but this. But you we can't. start early in the morning. Right, so I'm like, right. Not in the, you know, but I'm saying, too, like, unless you're, the wind is howling and you're like, it's unsafe for us to be drinking. Like, we're, we're, yes. Yeah, having a good time. Having a good time. We were time. throwing beers around. And then yeah. Mimi and I were kind of, because we kind of thought it was a little bit more of, we were going to be on the boat, just need to stay out of the way. And I'm like, yeah. oh, no. And when there wasn't a lot of wind or parts yeah. we needed to, we're crawling back and forth and crawling back and forth. And you kind of like, it's also, you're sailing. So you're not like flat the whole time. Like even playing, you're like, okay, we're really tilting this way yeah. or that way. Um, so anyway, it was an experience. But during that, I also was joking with JD saying, okay, I don't know anything about sailing. You're telling me there's going to be these hot guys. Give me some terminology. Yes. So I was just, if you need to know, and I would told people, Mm-hmm. remember I did tell yeah. some guy that I was running bow yes and he was like wow that's impressive you were doing bow like impressive. yeah Dude, bow on a J30 was, I haven't even ever done bow on a J30 it's I was freaking I did not do intense. that that you was not my not role yeah. but he was impressed and you know I was just then losing my shit a lot of it I'll repost some of the old content well and remember we kept then. saying that line was bang them hard because it's literally a sailing bang term them hard. bang and them they hard kept saying so we could, were banging and when people were like oh how'd you guys the best Okay, so I'm jumping around. We get through the race. I don't remember where we finished. And who knows? Who knows? Yeah. At the end of the race, there's an award ceremony. Award ceremony, yeah. 
I'm like Morgan was saying. At this point, we've been everyone out there. has been drinking, not just us. Every, this is every boat. Some of these has been drinking. Yo, since early people were rocked, rocked at this award ceremony, rocked and rowdy. It was hysterical. I was in tears. I we were all in tears, and everyone at this point <laughs> is disheveled. Yes, because you're sweaty. Look, you look miserable. I remember also. This is actually something I totally forgot when we were prepping. Morgan talking about her loving her styling of her. She's also like. I brought, you know, like a cover up and like a chambray top. You throw it. Up. I know what you're gonna say. Morgan's like, oh my gosh, you need to take like, take this fanny pack, like cinch the waist. Da, da, da. I walk in there. There's all the, God love them. I'm like nobody's single here. There maybe was one boat other of like young people, but I'm like it was mainly older guys. And I say older like parental or our parents age. A lot of boomers. There's a lot of, but there were yeah, younger boats. There was a lot of Gen people. X, were couple, boomers. There were a lot of couples. A lot of couples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a scene. A at scene. The award ceremony. I mean, literally, the person that was emceeing, I remember, couldn't even like people just yelling out. Oh yeah. I mean, it was. It, it was honestly an absolute mess, and it was hysterical. It was we had a blast. Hysterical. But the way that that evening ended remember we oh like god. it was it was late and yes they had food when we got in but then it was so late we went into town oh my god went to we the pizza rocked. place we were a mess everybody there. was a mess i think you know at that point in the day we all and, were tired and, and i think like, i think we had to like walk into remember yeah there or was that we got a ride you're right there were no cars there, there was no, no uber. uber there's no uber there st michael's is not an easy place to uber and i feel like I honestly was thinking that the other day. I think we I had to walk. To we walked a long time, I think. I think we walked in and we got rides home or something like that. Yeah, because we, I think we all tried to fit. We had like one car between the whole boat or something. Yeah, because, yes, because the one, um, the one friend of ours had to work. So she, she drove down and that's the only car that was available because everyone else came down on the boat. There yeah. was like 10 of us. We all ended yeah. up going to this piece of place. We're having, we oh are God. a mess in there. We get back continue to party remember well, we, we, we had a late drink. night party everyone from the the marina was hanging right. out on our boat you're right oh we my went god all night. there was literally right. like people 20 people around out, like, the boat all night i remember yes. this now because i'm remembering now the next morning people like oh you guys oh, were at mary, mary, mary lou mary lou mary was the spot last night we were like Ooh, we had a full-on party and then there ended up being it was 10 well, to 12 people spent the night on that boat yeah well this is the thing <laughs> Then, okay, that's actually because wasn't there seriously someone random there in the morning up on top? Somebody probably, passed out. probably. Uh, Mimi during the like the post party celebration is at one point. I'm like, are you good? And she's like, I'm just still feeling like really like I'm on a boat. She had been seasick, um, like earlier. She was like not feeling necessarily yeah, that not great when great. she got off, the and boat. it was really rocky. Yeah, so she was like, okay, I'm just gonna take drink a lot of water at dinner and whatever. Yeah, so I tell her, oh my god. I'm like, Mimi, hey, we know that person's but Okay, so let, let, let me explain. This because is another she was aside. feeling so bad that she's like, I, like, don't think I can. I feel like Stay she got here. sick. Yeah, she might have. And she, we were, we're in St. Michael's. It's all, like, inns. You can't. I was trying, like, like, a hotel, hotel tonight. Yeah, no, there's no, And there's, like, like no room unless Express. you're staying at the inn at Perry Cabin for, like, a thousand bucks a night. Yeah, there's no place to stay. And so um, I'm like, you know what, Mimi? I'm like, I know that boat over there because understand this so we're on a sailboat j30 we're rocking like yeah, you're it's you're, like well, you're well, literally all well, night long all night long you know this is like you're in a hammock yeah like you're in a hammock this is why I literally right now i still feel like i'm on a boat and i yeah. will for the next three days because yeah. that's just what happens like yeah. you constantly feel like i did after we were last weekend yeah. yeah and so um so anyway so i'm like mimi that boat over there was like um like a uh, what's it called? Like a catamaran style. So it's right. like more, it doesn't, it was a power has, boat that it has two, you think of it, it a catamaran rather than the one, one single hull, it has the two. So it's like, think of it like not a going triangle to versus a rectangle right. bottom, you know? So right. it's going to sit more, not, not rock as much. So I was like, and it also meaning, had like these double doors. Remember in the back? Yes. So it was like stepping onto this boat. Like you're stepping into like a living room. Yes. Right. So it's much more ease of entry, much more like you can just lay down flat. There's no <laughs> right. very opposite of what her situ very rocking right. situation would have been on and the And you were more above. Yeah, exactly. Above the waterline uh, more. And so I go, Mimi, I just lied to her. I said, 
um, you know, I know whose boat that is over there. Just go sleep on that boat. And they said you could stay on it. They said you could stay on it. Because clearly, like, it was a live aboard. Yeah. You know, a boat. Not not live aboard, excuse me. The opposite. It was a boat that was there and no one was there. No one was going to come. This is, you know, one in the morning. You, like, did a little. Yeah, a little peek in. Peek in and the door was open. Peek in the door was open. And um, so, yada, 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 in the morning, JD is, like, looking out there. He's like, what? where's Mimi next thing you know like 20 minutes later she comes rolling out of there I go uh I told her to stay on that boat last yeah time. we were it was definitely and like a no Morgan like had been so drinking and like, totally like was like yeah. just made a made a decision in the moment sleep on this random boat but then we're like at breakfast and like you said that's when everybody's giving us the accolades we get the real award for the longest party longest party yeah and then I'm thinking, and everyone had a good time. Right, people were happy that we right. were like ready to turn up. The right. young kids, I was, and that was my thing. I was like, y'all, I know you sailed down here with us. You did the race. That's hard work. Like now, let's have a yeah, good time. They're like, like we know we, we duped you guys, but so now a we're gonna of party. drinks. No, but so I'm thinking, oh, okay, we did it. We survived it. We had fun. You know, you can say you did a sailing race, and we get back on the boat. And we're packing up our gear, and JD says, you know. I'm looking and the wind looks kind of to be like yesterday. Not a lot of wind. Well, first actually says two things that people were racing back to Annapolis the next day. Mm -hmm. So first he asked, does any of you guys want to race back? And I said, get the fuck out of here. No, yeah. we're not doing this again. He's like, you want to race? He said, you want to race or motor? And yeah, you were basically. No, but yeah, so it was two. It was like, do we want to race? And I'm like, absolutely not. Oh, that's what it was. And yeah. then it was, yeah. do we want to just cru- do you cruise just sail or, back? Sail or motor? Or motor. And he says about the wind, and I'm like, put that fucking motor on. Yeah, there was not enough on. wind. Get full us throttle, back, full throttle. Back. We need the wind in our hair. We need to be moving. We want to have a relaxing boat day. Right. So he's like, fair so enough. So then we're doing. So we do. Relaxing boat day. But remember what he was doing, though? We were doing. So this is the other thing. When you have a sailboat, yes, you will motor. But you ideally always want to be sailing because if the wind is up, you're going faster yeah. than you can motoring. These are not. You don't have like three motors on yeah, your sailboat. A motor sailboat. on a sailboat is like. 15 horsepower or something yeah, 20 versus like okay put it this way the boat that gets you there in 45 minutes 200 right the boat that's going to take two hours i don't even honestly know let's say it like it's i don't know let's say it's 25 yeah so even like you're saying with, with the wind it's being faster it'll be faster so there's different moments where then we're like oh we're just gonna throw the sail up now right. because we're gonna you know you Take every advantage, run, yada, yada. Which Mimi and I would go, oh, great. We're going to have to fucking tack. Right. But so we throw the sails up. And when we're on the way back, and so we're cruising, but we're at a good speed. But when you throw the sails up, you can't, you know, think about it. You can't just turn the wheel on right. a dime like you can on a powerboat. You have to be tacking and da, da, da. It's a process to get wherever you just were. Right. So we start talking about, again, you know, we're you know, this is uh, our youth and we're like, Hey, let's, let's have some fun. Let's jump in the water. You know, we're just cruising back. I may or may not have been stoned. And I was like, yeah, I want to jump in the water. I jump in. I don't grab the line that's attached right. to the boat, which you no. need to go ahead. You I'll... need to grab the line. So that way you don't, because if you are sailing and you're sailing at a good clip, you're gonna be left in the dust. If you jump off the boat, I jump off the boat and they're not even sailing at like that good of a clip, but it was enough that, well, that was I thing, didn't grab the JD line and I couldn't said catch we, up. That we could jump hey, so off. We could. This would be a good time to do it. <clears throat> yeah. But you're missing a key detail. Oh, what did I forget? You didn't just jump off the boat. You fucking cannonballed off that boat. <laughs> so you go under, which makes it just, I'm, I oh, say yeah. that. It's harder to get the when line. Because when you jump in, know I, am. I was further you away. You didn't grab the line. Grab, you yeah. go under, so you're not even seeing, you lose vision of it. Yeah. Right? And also, the water was chilly. Like I said, it was chilly coming up there. So it does take your breath yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was early in the season. Yeah. Right. So continue. <laughs> because so then, I say because I'm looking at you like, oh, my God. Literally, as you did, so I'm jumping in. I'm like, great. But I didn't think you were going to freaking cannonball. No, yeah. You know, I was living in the moment. <laughs> and um, so I jump in. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like trying to get to the boat. And Joe's like not, not hearing me and also not understanding because, you know, he always has me in like – you're the strongest athlete. Like he thinks because I'm athletic and I can like kiteboard and whatever and learned how to do that later in life that I'm like him, that I'm like a freaking, you know, water polo player that yeah. I can sit there and swim for 10 hours. No, I can't. That's right. like the specific skill that he has mastered. You right. Know? 
So he's not like realizing like I cannot swim to catch up to this fucking boat right now. Uh, and he's not processing oh it God, and he's uh, not understanding that I'm saying you got to turn around. You have to like cut yeah, the like, sails, Joe. put the motor on, just turn around. Right. I'm like, Joe. And, and Joe's so saying to me though, sitting yes. there and me and me, me and I'm like, oh God, cause I'm thinking I don't, I'm not going to tell him that we just smoke. Like that's right, right, why. right. Like, you're, you know, yeah. He didn't also see you he didn't know. Yeah. He's not processing. And then would have been like, the why did she do that? Why'd she do that? Yeah. But he's like, what is she doing? Why is she like being serious? And I go, yeah, like she needs help. She needs and help. Mara's like, yeah, like yeah, and, sl- <laughs> and slows, and slows and again. So he's like trying to process what's happening because again, he doesn't know that we smoked. He does. He wasn't watch. He couldn't see that I cannonballed. Yada yada. I end up having to scream for help so that way it was understood. So I yeah, said, like, "Help me!" Like I need. I help. said, "I need help." And so next thing you know, our friend. We're gonna call him for this episode. We're gonna call him Mitch. Mm. Our friend Mitch rips off his sunglasses, rips off his shirt, literally lifeguard style, in two Ooh. seconds, dives in yeah. the water, swims out, gets to me, hottest fucking thing. Like, literally, Stacy, who is at this, Stacy, me, 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 we are all, of course, and we're friends with him, so we're dying laughing, we're hysterical afterwards. We're I, like, I mean. One, like you said earlier, if you didn't watch the Baywatch episode, <laughs> obviously we have a love for Baywatch and the specific move if you watch Baywatch you know you they're know. always standing on the side of the elbow and the dive he literally does this that it was perfect yeah I mean the dive the shirt's off the glasses are and off and let me tell you I'm Mitch is attractive like, oh he was hot mm-hmm. and I'm like okay and JD standing there with I mean he had to steer the boat steering the we boat. were just we were I looked at JD I said did you see that <laughs> my god he's a hero he's a hero he just saved your wife <laughs> only only time i've always been if you go back and listen to the lifeguard oh episode god. i've been the saver it was the first time and only time i've ever been saved you were the victim i was the victim i mean and he swam now, and you granted i boat. do want before people he swam you back he swam back but here's the thing like no was, i mean yes he did but it but wasn't like i could were gasping swim. he wrapped his arms around because i was stoked <laughs> It was like Baywatch. Morgan's like, oh, I just, thank yeah. you. I'm kidding. But I will say the reason, now I need you to fully understand. The reason I yelled for help wasn't because I was going to drown. I know, flip over and just float, but I needed him to understand. No, like come back and get come, me. That he was not processing and not understanding. I needed him to come back and get me. Because he was like, kick it in, like swim. Kick it in, swim. And, and I was like, I'm I can't. I it's said, going too fast. The look, boat's going too fast. And again, because you submerged, it really was too, you came up going, you know the gas, it, the gasp. It, because you're it's right. So cold. It, you're I, like, I'm having the flashback to my lungs were shocked, and yeah. so then it was like I lost my breath, and my and muscles that's also were trying to kick water at the same time. It can happen like that. It can happen Even like that. I should have had a life jacket Form. on. That would have made Absolutely. it a lot more fun, which is something that I would never would do. Now as a mom, knows. I would never not. I would never jump in like that and have a life jacket on. Right. Never. That's funny. Yeah. Like even I was thinking that too. Even like jumping in off our boat and the boat was moving. Why would I ever do that? Yeah. Ridiculous. I don't know. But thank God Mitch was there. Jumped in. Jumped in. Ripped his shirt off. It was just like, I mean, yeah, it was the Mitch Buchanan moment. It was a, Mm -hmm. thank God it ended safely, but it definitely was a fun memory. It was the only regatta I've participated in. It's probably the last. I think that made me go, I'm a powerboat girl. (laughs) <laughs> Give me to say Mike's unless, 45. Unless I wouldn't say our last because there's an opportunity to network. There can be a lot of regattas where it's an opportunity to network. Something with a people. shorter distance. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be the girl that says if the wind's up, great. Great. Exactly. If it's not, it, that, exactly. I've got that's the what it bug. is. You see, you know, if the wind's up, it's not about the distance even. If it's then the I'm wind's saying, up, JD, get how back fast up. are we getting there? But now you'll have an Angel. Hour? He takes my spot. Exactly. Angel's perfect. He'll be the perfect little tacker. Oh, my God. He's nimble. He's but so nimble. that's also the thing, too. Like, we were joking about the power boat. I'm a power boat girl. Just water girl. Yes. So water you guys girl. have heard about water girl. Water girl is a power boat. Hello, Mary Lou was the original name of my boat when we bought it from the former owner. So look up her times. Look up her ratio. I'm dead. <laughs> but I say that because... Your boat name is Water Girl. You're getting to name your boat because that boat was never raced. Right. We adopted our boat name because our boat was a racing boat, J30, Ooh. and it did well. And so it's a jinx to oh. rename a boat that that is that's right has a good speed and is, is known right. to do well. So you can put a little tweak on it so that now it's your boat, but you wouldn't completely change the name. So we dropped the hello and just called it Mary or yeah. no, I'm sorry. It was the other way around. Oh my gosh. What am I thinking? It was the other way around. Um, 
it was called Mary Lou because the guy's wife, I think, was Mary Lou or his mom or something like that. And we added Hello, Mary Lou. And our there's a song that goes like this. It's literally from like the 40s. I'm t- Hello, Mary Lou. Had da. I love you. Da, 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 da. Like, literally Google it. It's hysterical. But so that would be our thing. We would, like, play that song. But you put it on because it was we, bad luck to change to the change name. To change the but name. But you needed to add the new we name because add, you can't take over their times. Like no, it has nothing crew. to do with, it has nothing to do with that. It's all about the respect of the Previous. name. And you don't, and you don't want to jinx yourself and change well, the name. why didn't you just keep it Mary Lou? Because we, want you, we wanted to make it our own. Oh, okay. So then you got like, you, got you, you got know, it. now they know it's not Mary Lou, it's know. our boat. It's got a different it. boat, it's different hello, captain. So we changed Mary it to Lou. Hello, Mary Lou. So, yeah, so people it. call us like HML and stuff, but yeah. I'm that's dead, where, I'm that's dead, why I'm it's dead. Like, it's a scene. If you yeah. ever are in the boating world community or if you are interested about it, yeah. a great way to get introduced is, this is what's so fun. We've talked about this before oh, about yeah. Annapolis and their seasons, but... So as summer winds down, of course, people will still be on the water until January. Oh, through January, because you can sail. Right. Uh, you sail all winter long. Right. But like in terms of the the seasons of people coming down to yeah, and a lot of events, yeah. there's, then it becomes more like festival event season. And so fall kicks off the boat show season. Yep, boat show. First weekend of October this year is the Annapolis Power Boat Show. Yep. And it's a real scene. I mean... It's like, also just, con- first of all, the setup of it is downtown Annapolis, where they have like Eagle Alley, right, mm-hmm. is this little waterway of all these boats. And they cover that with floating docks. So it's just tons of boat vendors that they bring in on these boats. But it's not just boats. You've got food vendors, craft vendors, little gifts, and artisan. It's like a craft show meets boat show. Think of anything meets that's a connected to a boat. So like... There, there will be um, people there that are going to do um, like lessons, or um, you literally do what is it when you charters a charter? Yeah, the charters. Yeah, or um, even like sunglasses. Well, sunglasses. They would say uniforms all the for your crew or different ropes, like anything that you can think of. Captain Sandy came to you. Motors. Ago. Yeah, Captain from Sandy, Bolo right Day. from Bravo. Um, yeah. So like, there's just anything connected to. A boat, whether it's the powerboat show or the sailboat, they have all vendors right. related to that. And then there's food, and then the town's just super busy. And and now yeah, there's to drinking. Dance, you're drinking, lo- drinking and in there, so you're walking and, around. And yeah, you're drinking in the show. It's yeah. an outdoor event that's connected to. Yeah, you're not called, going sober. No, what's called Ego Alley, and there's that's all bars. There's bars and I mean, you can go sober. There's plenty of it's a family no, event. No, totally. Sure. But I mean, there's it's it's a but fun it's also, thing. It's a very you social, can make it what thing, you want what, it to what be. What you want it to be. But I will say. So it's funny because we talk about the powerboat and the sailboat. Truthfully, yes, I'm a powerboat girl by convenience. I like instant results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like a lot of work. Right. The vibe, I'm more of a sailor. And I say that and I see that when I go, when I have gone to the Annapolis sailboat show. Yeah. Hot. Hot. If you are single. Yeah, that's where to go. There were a lot. You were single and, and I don't know how ever, the men in, I'm speaking about the men in particular hot mm-hmm. and there was a lot of height mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah no they're athletic you have to be athletic and because a lot of these i'm just a saying lot of the just that i will come be. through yeah so there's you know pro there is a sailboat community that all of these races are very taken very seriously oh, and yeah. you might have like a full-time job and be a pro sailor or you might actually that's your full-time job but so these people are working out to mm. you know they're look at the olympics you know I mean, it's the same thing and that it's the age group of, the age group is very wide it will be you know it will be hot. young to yeah i mean you'll be 20s through 60 of I've all these people say, that are and a lot of yes yes good looking guys from all ages and they're very good with their hands there because you have to be able Ooh. to i'm serious you have to be able to like fix things Crank. and you Tie have nuts. to understand it's all these things that you're just like making it up on the fly I mean, at the time let's also be real too and this is again this is more me like especially because if it's something that i can't do i think it's very hot like, right 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 where it's like you have to be really coordinated or mm-hmm. you have to do this thing or it takes extra like that's just that like testosterone masking, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so i'm like let your imagination wander when you're walking around you know yes. having your vibations 
you're not having your vibations at the sailboat show. You maybe had it before. You had it before. Have those vibations before you go down. Yeah. Walk around, take in the sights. Yeah, take an edible before you go. And, um, oh my God, I don't think you're going to be upset that you did. And sailboat show is the weekend of October 10th I this year. I think so. Yes. 10th through the yes, 14th. Yes, yes, We'll include that in the show notes too of the links because you do, you have to buy tickets to go. We should make sure to get some content down there yeah. this year. Yeah. Yeah. We it's should. a good time. It's, it'll be entertaining for you guys. But maybe that's what we should do too because I remember of, of tips if you're going down. Oh, yes. We should give people because we are saying come through. It's fun. It's literally right downtown. So even if you're not someone that's like interested at all, yeah. you can go do something else. Oh, you can park at Eastport Elementary if you get yep. there early. That's a big fundraiser for them. They yep. do the parking cars. You, know, you pay to park because it will be busy. hard for you to get. If you don't it's have busy. a friend down here. DM us and we'll we'll give you if you're coming down yep, DM us park, and we'll give you a parking spot. Give you parking spots exactly. <laughs> um, but no, but if you do come and this is your first timer, we should give some tips because yes. let's, let us explain exactly when you're like when we're just saying boat show. What this is, like Stacy said, when they have it's massive. they build this massive floating dock and then all of these boats pull up. So these are this the show is literally think of a car show. It's the same thing. It allows for people to come and look at different yeah. boats, see what they would want to buy, see what they would want to take a um, you know, uh, I keep forgetting what that word is, if they want to do charter. A charter. They want to do a charter or like what they want to, you know, yada yada. Some people are just doing it because it's something to do. And it's ex- just right. like car shows. It's just I want to go see yeah, the different cool. boats. These, and it is really cool. They're, yeah. I mean, and they'll bring in those cool, like the, that boat from Baltimore. What's it called? Pride of Baltimore. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, so just to let people like you're see walking different around stuff. yachts. Yes, stuff. you're walking around these massive, huge yeah. yachts that you would like never get to see. It. Literally the same thing that you're seeing on TV. Right. And so, um, so, but you're getting on and off these boats. And so, one, you can't wear shoes on them that has to stay clean. Sometimes these boats are, these aren't just boats that are for sale. Sometimes it's just boats of an own, someone owns the boat and they've been asked, Hey, can we use your boat to show your boat? And if someone wants to buy it, like, so you have to keep the boat nice. Like you're not trying to like let people just walk through it. So you have to take your shoes off. So you either need to make sure you have a pedicure, your toes are not nasty or have socks. Yeah. It's just like, and definitely do slip on. Yeah. It's like the pro tip is if you go to someone's house that you can't wear shoes inside Same. and you're like, exactly. Ooh, I'm wearing socks with holes in it. Yes. Like, so we're giving you a heads up. Like I would, def- you don't have to come like, Oh, let me put on dock sliders and Sperry's. No, but like wearing boots that you have to tie up. Think, I have, think that you are going to be easiest- walking in and out of homes back yes. to back. Like, Every boat you get on, you have to take your shoes off, yes. put them on. So, you know, like an a easier Birkenstock, stock, a Birkenstock that slides on a slip off. on, you know, a van, a Converse. Exactly. It's just a shoe you can easily get on and off. Yeah. And same thing if you're bringing kids, because it is a family yeah, friendly, friendly event. Yeah. So same, the kids, if they're in a croc mm-hmm. or a... Have d- a hat, sunblock. You can also buy the other year, so, here. you know. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, but it's a good time. It's a good time. And there is something for everybody. Like seriously, there's tons of vendors. There's a lot of food and all of that. But it also is really cool that you do get to walk on all these boats and see like, yeah, it's just something you wouldn't get up close to. And who knows? Maybe you'll walk away with one. Well, and the other thing is too. So the people that are working the events, like, so we Airbnb our house to people that now this will be their second year because they work. Oh, the same. Show. Same group. They're oh, great. Cool. Yeah. And, um, so they're work, they work the boat shows. So these are people that not only do sail, but they're also working. So it's also, I'm sorry, like talk about daddy gang. Like y'all want to have like some fun with just some random, like someone who's coming into come town. Come into town. If you're in DC, Actually, daddy gang, gr- you should absolutely come into town for the sailboat show and have a good time. No. Yeah. I just, the Morgan's sailboat show now is calling crawling. out Alex Cooper's following. <laughs> I <laughs> why not like, tell you do it? Daddy gang. Get down there. If you're a single person and you want to see some, yeah, it's a great time. Cause like she's saying, there's a lot of different people that are in town mm-hmm. and transient. So that's always fun. Yeah. It's a great time. And you there's a lot, we got great no restaurants, <laughs> all the things. But, and it's, so anyway, we'll, yeah. we, we'll, that'll be a fun episode. Upcoming. Yeah. We'll keep you all, we'll try and again, you know, we, we have issues with posted. social media. We'll try and do some content to remind y'all it's coming up. Have a good time. Think of us when you're out there sailing or turn it on your power boat like Water Girl. And if you're not, seriously, the sailboat show and the power boat show, they welcome you. Oh, yeah. Welcome it's a great in. weekend. It's a welcoming vibe. Great weekend to come down. Well, Divas, Divas, Water Girls. Water Girls.
review us, share us with at least two people. Mm-hmm. And um, remember, for the if you share us and can show proof that you share it with three people, you get a parking spot. Parking spot. And also, this week's shout out is to Megan and Duffy. Thank you all for your support. We've seen your shout outs. We've seen you sharing us. Love, Love you. you. Do you have a Bye, y'all.